hello everyone so welcome to today's class uh, like you know we are uh, covering into the interview preparation classes and uh, we are looking into the subjective uh, topics that uh, we are going to get some questions on the subjective topic so in uh, today's video we are going to discuss the possible question or a probable question that you may get in your interview session for a pipeline procurement if you are mentioning if you are mentioning pipeline procurement that you have done the pipeline procurement process or you have configured it then might be you will get some questions regarding that so let's see what are the questions that you may get from a pipeline procurement So in pipeline process, maybe first question you might get what are the IMG settings for pipeline process. So basically you need to um, explain what are the configuration that you have done for before um, your pipeline process need to be executed like for executing pipeline process. What are the basic IMG settings that needs to be done? So basically you can uh, say uh, means the explanation is already there in the pipeline process classes you can go to the class or go to the classes and find out the question uh, find out the answers from that we are not discussing um, the answer part that you need to prepare that you need to um, like make a note of it means all the questions that uh, you might make a note of it and you can go through them daily revise them and you can prepare for a interview so next question you might get which purchase organization is required for pipeline settlement so which one may be um, a standard purchase organization or a reference purchase organization or a central purchase organization whichever purchase organization is required that you may need to answer that next question you might get what are the steps or flow in pipeline procurement so basically this is business process how pipeline procurement work you need to answer that we have a dedicated view uh, we have a dedicated class for the same like pipeline procurement how the pipeline procurement work and also we have uh, like uh, complete process pipeline process uh, you have uh, that video also so you can get through those video and you can see the answer there so next question you might get what are the prerequisite for pipeline settlement so you need to answer that also you need to prepare on that also what are the requisite for uh, pipeline settlement so basically we need a for any kind of settlement we need to have a info record for that and we need to have the like output control we have to maintain that so basically you can um, you can answer like that whatever prerequisite is there for a settlement process next question is uh, you might get is valuation class mandatory for pipeline material uh, means question directly we have uh, directly we we have mentioned all the question direct point to point but might be as per your interviewer um, their knowledge and uh, uh, as per their understanding they will ask you question like uh, maybe some real-time scenario related maybe they will ask um, um, like uh, for pipeline material are you using any valuation classes did you use any valuation classes how did you configure material master for pipeline material so you can there can be questions any any type of questions will be there you need to be prepared for that on the whole topic you need to be prepared for that so that's all about pipeline process questions so that's all for today let's meet again uh, tomorrow with uh, another process till then bye bye and take care